Welcome back, everybody, to episode 7. Today, we're going to be getting into our steel production. We kind of talked about it a little bit right at the end of last video, but today, we're actually going to kind of get into it, get everything started. Um, I'm going to collect all the resources that, resources that I'm going to need, and I'm going to head all the way down to our cold plant to set the foundries up there. Um, I do have a lot of plans to kind of get it back here. I don't want to run all that distance, so there's a couple of things that I'm going to be trying to do uh, with the next few episodes, such as setting up trucks, or maybe I have to convey it. I'm not sure how exactly I want to go about doing it. I do have some plans. Um, all that being said, guys, let's get into it. Start off the episode. Okay, so uh, I'm over here now. I got all my stuff. I kind of built a little bit of platform. But I want to tell you guys about something that kind of happened in the background of one of my videos. Basically, when I got on tonight, I was over here from where I logged out when I made the video. And I walked back over there, and I got attacked by Jerome. Now, for those of you who don't know, Jerome is one of these spider crab guys that is just absolutely terrifying and absolutely ambushed me right at the top of this ramp and uh, completely blindsided me. If you haven't seen that, I'm going to put the video attachment in the top right corner. Go ahead and check that out. It was it's a terrifying experience. So I made this platform so I can kind of walk over and do the stuff that I need to do without actually going down there because I don't have the capacity to kill Jerome. And at this point, I've given him a name, and he's kind of like a, like a friend of mine at this point. I mean, a friend that's trying to murder me and eat me, but besides that, you know, I keep looking at that thing and it's messing me up. But, basically, to get to the point, I ended up capturing him by luring him into this, this little trap I got here, this little bin, and I blocked it off. And I thought that it was going to be a nice little thing that I could make glass around it, and it wouldn't be a problem. But I came over here to check, after I walked back... And he's gone. <laughs> and, and I am terrified because I have no idea where this this spider crab Jerome went. And he's going to find me and he's probably going to eat me. So as of right now, uh, I've made the platform that's suspended in the air. And we're just going to ignore the fact that the ground is there and just hopefully avoid the problem altogether. Because I don't know where he's at. And the last time he ran up on me, he literally murdered me. So I'm terrified of him and he's gone. And uh, we're just going to go on with the video like nothing happened. So I made this platform over here. And we have our coal deposit and then our iron deposit just up here. I am a little bit shy on the concrete. So I'm going to take some of this back real quick. So I can make a ramp to get up to that iron. So I don't have to actually worry about it. I have been spending a lot of my resources. So I'm kind of a little bit... Uh, not sure on what exactly I have and don't have. So when I get in this project, I'm probably going to find something that I'm missing out on and I might need to go grab it. So, fingers crossed it doesn't happen, but it is what it is. Oh, no, 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 not like this. I don't mind falling on my death, but I'm really not trying to get eaten by a crap spider. So, need to place a workbench here. We're going to need to make some miners real fast. Also, try not to get too close to that copper and activate or activate those things because I really don't want to mess. Not enough space. I get rid of some stuff real quick. Um, drop. Fine. We're gonna make our miners and we'll set this up. I'm not even sure what this node is. I'm just kind of hoping the fact that it's gonna be a uh, a pure node. I'm not fully sure, but either way, I'm only gonna set up two foundries, which should be ninety. So if it's running behind, then that's why. But either way, it should be okay. He equipped. Probably that cave where Joe came from. Either way, he is like way out of where he should be. So I'm going to take a second and I'm going to clear this up. And then um, get right back to you guys. Okay, now that we're back, I had to run all the way back up there, like I said, to get resources for stuff that I thought I had. I basically redid my whole inventory. So I got plates and I got cement and I got all this stuff. I made this platform a little bit bigger because there's no way that I was going to be able to fit everything that I needed to fit on here. So, like I said, this is going to be kind of a really basic steel production setup that we got. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. I hit the wrong button. Just get me out of here. I'll be okay. I also grabbed a pair of blade runners, so hopefully I'll be able to outrun Jerome if he decides to come back and try to murder me again. So... Like I was saying, this is going to be a really basic forage type deal. Um, I'm not going to get crazy into it with the, uh, the belts and all that stuff and try to make sure I got ni or nice right angles and all that. Uh, I'm really just going to... That's the balloon guy. That's terrifying. He's been underneath there, but that is scary. 
So we're just gonna run two splitters right on top of each other and we're on kind of like a, just a really simple setup, kind of like what we did with our um, our um, our assemblers on the top there where we made our, our I'm blanking, the reinforced frames. I didn't really get crazy into making sure things lifted over each other and making it all nice and pretty. I just try to kind of get it on there, so. And take a second. It'll be fine there. It's somewhat of a nice angle. It's out of the way. It should be okay. And actually, I am going to try to make this nice. It's going to bother me if I take that. Yep. And I didn't make it right. Not a right angle. Whatever. So there's a nice right angle. I want to upgrade this back to Mark II. So now we have our splitter set up. We're just gonna do two foundries like I said. Really simple, just place them a little bit away. And since these are already being split, it really won't matter exactly to go to the Mark II, so we'll run Mark Ones. And everything everything up. Now we should be getting our actual steel ingots as soon as I turn the power on. Connect everything. Can't afford those, so I want to use Mark IIs, which is really not that big of a deal. Use it all for everything up here. I don't know exactly the output on this compared to what the uh, steel resources are and the steel beams and all that stuff. So we'll tie this in on this line right here. Like I said, we'll have time to come back and make sure everything's pretty. But as of right now, I'm not too crazy worried about it. We're still only sitting at about ma or half of the consumption of what we actually have. So there's really not a desire to really make this power plant bigger quite yet. For right now, we're just tied into the coal. This should make it. I don't know why I'm not getting iron. Go check on that real quick. Probably because this isn't powered. I would explain it a lot. That'll start mining and it'll force the iron down there. Um, I'm terrified to go down here, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to bite the bullet and try to see exactly what this line is. Although it is a normal coal, so I'm only getting 60 off that. Is this a pure one? That's normal as well. I think I'm going to grab some power shards that I have back at the base and I'll put them in here to get it up to 120 because it's not going to keep up. This is only going to be producing 60, yeah. Not enough to keep up with what we have going on because there's a 45 and a 45. So I will grab a power share, our power shard and put that in there. Just a second. So uh, placing a structure down and see what exactly type of setup we're going to need to make with our steel beams. So this is producing 60 a minute for 15, or taking 60 to produce 15, so it's a 4 to 1. Uh, this is doing 45, and this is 45. I believe that with the uh, steel pipes, it's a 1 to 1. That's the wrong one. This way. I probably could have just switched the recipe. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, that's 30 to 20. It means three of these run 60. Yeah. That's uh, those are some confusing numbers. I think we're just gonna take the one to one. Uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna wind up doing that. I might split this one. I'm not sure what I'll do. I'm just gonna connect these for right now and let them run for a little while, and then. In a bit, I can see exactly what I need to do. I need to go get those power shards before I do anything. This isn't going to keep up how it is. Um, if they're both 120s, then I can jump it up to a 3 foundry. But that's a really confusing number. Because it's technically 135. But I'm going to dumb it down to 120, or at least the closest that I can get it on the last one. So... If it's doing 45 to 45, it'll produce 120. Which if we can split the 3 off... Divide it into one line and then split it at 120. I think I can get it all into what I needed. This is 30 and this is 60. So I do a one of these, one of these, and then a third one of the pipes. Which I'll be producing a lot more pipes than I really need out of anything, but it will still kind of work out with all the numbers. So I'm gonna take a second and I'm gonna run all the way back there and get my power shards so I can upgrade this or get it to run faster, and then I will get everything going. So I'll be right back. Just one second.
So I was thinking about it, and I literally walked all the way back to the base, and there's another coal node there, and I just stated that I don't need the power of the coal right now to really kind of maximize what we're doing. So I can just take the other 60 node and just tie it into the same line. I don't need to run the power shards and waste extra power to do it for nothing. So now I'm going to run all the way back there just to place a miner and put all this down again. I basically wasted my entire trip up here. Okay. Run all the way back down here again. Alright, now that we're back, we're going to hook up our Miner Mark 1 to a single line all the way over here. And we're going to place our Merger. I know it's really loud for that Miner, but it's okay. We're going to place our Merger on this line. Like I said, we're not really trying to make it pretty. We're just trying to make it uh, effective right now. Throw that on there. This is going to take a second to actually hook up. I just... Wires too fine. Which means I gotta play some more two for no reason. I don't have enough wire. Like our next video, if you guys haven't tell, is definitely gonna be copper reduction because I am completely out of all the wire. This isn't even keeping up. Yeah. Well, that'll get here eventually. Uh, I'm gonna place this third foundry and try to get the number right. I believe to get the extra thirty that I need out of it, I have to split it like down a lot. I think it's going to be a weird number that's not going to work. It's the whole point of them doing it, just to cause you pain. Because, oh, it's foundries. Why, 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 why can't it be easy? Can't you make it simple? But we need to find a way to get this number down to exactly 30. I feel like it's not going to let me. Yep. Basically, the, I can do 30.5. One five. That's the best I can do. Which means this is like slowly after like a million and a half years it's gonna fill up, so Okay. I'll get over it. So this is producing forty five and they're consuming thirty. So I'm going to take this simple. I'm going to make it all just the same line. And then that'll be 120. And then if I split it down into three, I put a merger right here. Get rid of this stuff real quick. So if I do a merger, which this is going to look dumb in theory, but it's only because there's like different amounts coming from different areas. So if I put a merger... And then I put a 120 line coming out of it. It means that exactly like 120 is going to come out of everything. So all I have to do is make nice little right angles and I'll put it into there. All together it should be about roughly pretty close to 120. And then the old output is only 120. So if I split that, then they'll be evenly split between all three. I know that was like a lot of like extra words that probably didn't need to be said. But I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, we're gonna make this a little bit wider for our platforms. I might just go all the way. Click it. Yep. I'm just gonna go all the way over there. That way I won't have to worry about it. And all I need to do is place three of these. Oh no. Because this isn't even. So I need a two way split to another split. this is not right this has to be oh that's confusing so to get this down then this side needs to be split again because that can be connected uh, now this is technically a 30 this is a 60 and a 60 and if you split it again it'll be 30 so we place this here we place another one then the third one on the end 
It's a direct 60 line. There you go, and then right angle. Nope, not there. Get a little bit further out without. Yeah, it's good. Place that there. Now, this is incredibly stupid, but this is ex exactly how it's going to work out. I can end up iron. Is that because this is Mark 1? It is. There you go, that'll probably help out a little bit. Now it's coming in. Means this game really likes to start throwing weird fractions out and just saying, figure it out. Connect everything. Tie this into line right here. I probably could have just. Honestly, I probably could have just all put it in there, but fine. Work out. So we'll put our steel pipes on these two, and we'll put our steel beams on this one. So we're going to 60. 30 and then our other 30 throw those extra ones in there um, and then all I need to do is actually organize the storage I'll put a storage container just a little bit out I'll put it in front of the other one as well we're gonna put a merger right here and this can merge down to one I think it's only producing like 40 really these the right way the first time that would be cool am I just dumb what am I doing wrong here yeah, I'm just gonna connect the line that's gonna work magically now that I'm not messing everything up, and then I'll place the merge there. And that way it's just gonna it's just gonna it's just gonna work. I can run a straight line to this because nothing's really changing. And there you go, that's how you do steel production. But that was like honestly pretty convoluted, and if you don't understand it, I'm gonna get up here on a thing really quick and just do my best to try to explain to you what I just did. Because <laughs> I know that kind of felt like a lot. If you guys haven't worked with steel before, um, it can get really, really confusing. And, like steel isn't even that bad compared to some of the stuff later on. Like once you get started, really getting really funky. So, wait, why isn't this running? Isn't that powered? That'll help out too. Also, I gotta actually put stuff into it. So, I'll I'll reorganize the backside in a second. Basically, what's happening is you have a 45 and a 45, which is producing 90, and then you need 30 production on the little third one. After that, you're having a 120. You have it all merged into a 120 line there. And then you have 60, 30, 30, which is technically 120. Well, I guess not technically, it is 120. But you get these 30 and 30, you have to run a splitter. So you have it split in between a 60 and a 60. So it's 120 and a half. And then you have another split in half again. So there's your quarters, which is going to be your 30 to 30. And then you have merged, and then now it's all by itself because it's not split. So basically, it's the equivalent of like this is producing half of what this is producing. You need three of them. And if you understood all that, if you're a genius and you know fractions, then good for you. And you just listen to me rant about fractions like you're in middle school again. Either way, thank you guys for listening to me babble on about absolute bullshit. I'm going to take a second and uh, fix these splitters real quick and get them all kind of worked out so all these are working and nothing's going to shut down. Give me uh, one second and I will be right back. About to wrapping my head around it a little bit more, I went ahead and I dumped all these down to 40. 40.05, whatever it is. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, basically, uh, the way I was going to do it is I realized I was going to have to split weirdly because this would have needed 45 this would have needed 45 and that would have needed 45 and i dunned them all down to the 40 then i can just triple split them and they'll all get the exact same amount i don't know why i don't know why the coal is just like flowing in but the iron is it
Dude, this is constant. What, what's going on here? Do I just have like a one little sec? I do. Okay, there we go. Mark twos and Mark ones can be very confusing. Now that I got everything flowing in here, then um, this all should run pretty much properly. It's gonna be not as efficient as it really could be, just simply based off the fact that it needs to have um, it needs to have like perfect numbers. Basically, it just kind of scales to a certain point of it just being ridiculous. So like, I don't know how many times you're gonna scale 45 before it matches up with the actual production numbers. Um, once you're dealing with more though, it does get easier. You know, like, even at 240, you're still at. at, at Fractions are hard. I, if I had a, like a pen and a paper, I could sit here and figure it out. But like just doing all everything in my head and trying to figure out the numbers, like they literally made it as hard as they could make it. I, I guess they could have made it worse. They could have been like one to the fucking sixty fourth or something stupid like that. But either way, fractions are hard. Okay, I'm just here to try to show you guys what works. And then if you don't like it, then that's your problem. So now that we got everything set up, let's go over one more time. So I have splitters each of these are at 40 so you have 40 together 120 120 split is 60 60 uh that can go for a one for one and then this is a uh a, this is a 30 i was gonna say i was trying to say a, a two for one but it's not that's not right either but whatever the phrasing is this is a 30 and a 30 which you need to split off the 30 or the 60 line which gives us everything to work out perfectly so we have green lights everywhere everything's coming in really good uh, we can let this run for a little bit and basically in about like five minutes or so once i kind of collect everything i'm gonna head back up to our factory up there and i will uh get one of the new packages i will see which one is going to be beneficial to us and then after that i'll probably got to do a little closing thing and it'll be the end of the video so i will be right back guys all right now that we ran all the way back up here again we're going to check out our hub and I'm pretty sure the only one that I can actually get is going to be those logistics ones. Because this needs wires, which I don't have any kind of production. Wires again, and this needs the encased steel beams which I get from this itself. So the only one I can actually put in for is the logistics Mark III. So I'm going to take that one for right now. Um, I am going to kind of do some stuff in the background and upgrade, upgrade any areas that need upgraded. Um, the stackable pipeline support is going to be really big. Um, and I can try to kind of dumb down some of our lines using this. So I will take this for now. I'm going to go ahead and send this off. Place everything in there. Um, I am... No, 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 no. Hey. Ah. Uh, I'm not listening to her talk. I'm, just, I'm not doing it. I'm not do I, get, I get chased by spiders. I do wiring. And I'm not talking to Ada. Those are my three, three things I got. Okay? I'm... Not doing it. So uh, that's going to be kind of the end of this video. I'll be wrapping it up in our next video. We're going to get started on all of our crop production. See, this is down, and this is officially on standby because we don't have any copper sheets to be made because we can't get any copper out of everything. So we're going to climb up here and look one little fa or one little bit over our factory one more time, and we're going to be calling it for today. Ah, that's nice.